Josh Green here for Seconds Out. I'm delighted to be joined by David Diamante. It's my pleasure. Dapper as ever, I have to say. Thank you, Josh. Uh, nice to see you. more dapper than me with the, the odd socks I've got on, I've got to say. But you're a big fan. Big fan of odd socks? Uh, yeah, you look good, man. You look good. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here. Nice to see you. Um, the last time we saw each other, where? Which show was it? Peterborough. Peterborough, yeah. And, uh, Vasquez and Ritson. Yeah, nice. So yeah, bringing on to the cards, we'll start off with Nick Campbell. Um, we've just seen him up on the scales, looks in terrific shape. He's a very, very big heavyweight and he looks ready for a, a big fight on Saturday. I cannot wait to see Nick Campbell fight. I mean, first of all, the guy's six foot seven. I mean, he is fit. You know, he's a, he's a rugby player from the Glasgow Warriors, uh, originally obviously from Glasgow, but he, he fights out of Jersey Island. Really nice fella. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to want to get in there with this guy. I don't know what, I don't know what his skill's like, but he, he's, he's really fit and he looks ready to go. So I, I want to see what he has. Yeah, I think we all do. And the one thing is with, with Nick, he has got plenty of amateur background. People are saying he's coming into this much like we've seen in other sports, coming from another sport into boxing. Yeah. He's got the amateur background, he's got plenty of... Scottish amateur heavyweight champion. So he does He does uh, have some amateur background. So we'll see, uh, the pro game is a little bit different and uh, take off the headgear, gloves are a little bit smaller. We'll see what he has. I think one of the fights that's gone a little bit under the radar is Cash Farouk, because there's so much on this card to look forward to. But with Cash Farouk, he's going in as a challenger which is a little bit new for him, you've got to say. And it is. Um, he had the, the slip up, but um, you know he's got the one loss, but he's going in against uh, Espinosa, um, Supernova, the guy from Nicaragua, very tough fighter. We're going to see, we're going to see uh, how it goes. It, it is, you're right, it is going under the radar, that fight, but it, it could be a really nice uh, row. Mm. And with Cash Farouk, how important do you think this is? Because he's coming up against a very, very tough fighter, as you say. Yeah, I think he needs a W. You know, you want to get back uh, in the winning column there, and uh, it'd be nice to, to get this, you know, mi more minor title. But it'd be it'd be great to see him get back in the win column. Ebony Bridges, Shannon Courtney. Um, what can we say about this one? I mean, in, in the lead up in the last few days, it's really taken social media and everything by storm. Maybe third down on the bill, but I think for lots of people watching, they'll be tuning in to see this fight. Won't we? This is a big one. You know, the WBA uh, bantamweight championship of the world. Um, Obviously, Shannon, with her loss to Rachel Ball, she really wants this win. She, she looked really great in her last time out. Um, Ebony Bridges, a lot of people feel like she talked her way into this, but we'll see. I, you know, I've talked to several people. They say she really punches. Mm -hmm. So I just can't wait. I think the odds makers have Courtney very, uh, very comfortably ahead. And, and it, might, it might turn out like that, but I, I think this is going to be closer to a 50-50 fight. I think... Both girls have a lot on the line here. They both have a very big me uh, following on social media. Yeah. I think there's not an ounce of give between them. I think they're going to come forward, and I think there is no retreat. So you've got two freight trains coming head to head, and uh, I think we're in for one. You know the British fans very well. Who do you think the British fans are going to be siding with on Saturday night? I think that there's going to be people in both camps. Mm -hmm. I think there are going to be people in both camps. I think Ebony has a really big fan base here, and I think Shannon has a big fan base here. Um, you know, whenever you're in the public eye, you're going to get people that like you and dislike you. That's very normal, so I think it's normal for both of these women. But um, I think they're both taking it very, very serious, and I know a lot of, there's been a lot of talk about the lingerie, but at the end of the day, they're going to get in the ring, and they're, they're really going to scrap. So I think we're going to, we're going to really, like I said, see a, a proper row. How much do you think Ebony has already gained this week, just from the exposure of a match room and a, a Sky Sports card? And if she was to lose, she goes back to Australia and she's done so much for Australian boxing already this week. Well, I think a lot. I mean, this is, I think, the largest platform in the world with match room yes. boxing, Sky Sports, and DAZN. Um, and so her reach is just going to grow. Mm -hmm. um, and the same for Shannon Courtney. So I think it's great for women's boxing. I think it's great for boxing. And again, I can't wait to see this fight. No, neither can we. We'll move on to the main event, Conor Ben, Samuel Vargas. Samuel Vargas has got a lot of big names in his record, maybe losses, but world title fights. He knows what he's doing going in there against Conor Ben, just 24 years of age. I think it's probably a little bit closer than the bookies are saying. Yeah, I agree with that. But before we talk about that, I do want to not skip over the chief support because Savannah Marshall is the WBO middleweight champion. She's defending, and I think she's one of the top female fighters in the world. Um, she's just a great, great fighter. and. You know, she's fighting Maria Lindbergh, um, former four-time world title challenger. She's won world titles, but the smaller, kind of uh, more insignificant titles. But, um, you know, 
we'll see what happens on, on, on Saturday with that fight. But I just want to give a shout out to Savannah Marshall because I, I'm such a huge fan of hers. And I think, um, not to overlook Lindbergh, but I think we really need to see her against Claressa Shields. And I think that's a fight that the boxing world's clamoring for. And I think that there are several great fights out there in women's boxing, and I think that's right up there with the best of them. I think also Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor would be great. Um, I'd like to see Chantel Cameron in there also. But there are a lot of great, great uh, female fighters out there, and Savannah Marshall is one of them. So she's in the chief support. I'm excited to see her in action always. Uh, and she can really crack. With, some, with Savannah Marshall, Clarissa Shields, I've spoke to Savannah, I've spoke to Peter Fury, I've spoke to many people this week about that fight. They seem to think it's probably the biggest women's fight going. Would you agree with that? Uh, it's one of them. I, it's definitely, to me, one of them, for sure. Yeah. Um, it's a huge fight. I think it would definitely top a bill. But again, I think Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor would be a massive fight also, and I would love to see that. I think we don't want to overcook it. Let's, let's make that fight. Let's make both these fights. We'll go back to Conor Ben. Conor Ben, fight. Sammy Vargas, yes. <laughs> it, it, this, is a, this is a really interesting fight. When you look at the... If you, if you kind of take the two fighters and you, you put, you know, what, what does this guy have? What does this guy have? And you, and you kind of weigh it out. It's an interesting fight, but I, um, I really do like it. I mean, like you said, Sammy Vargas, I mean, look, Errol Spence, Louis Colazzo, Virgil Ortiz, uh, Danny Garcia. Um, he's got some, you know, Amir Khan, of course, we saw that in Birmingham. He's got some great names on his ledger, on his CV, um, albeit losses, but it's a lot of experience and it's professional experience on a world championship level so that counts for a lot but on the other side you've got a younger stronger more athletic and very hungry uh connor ben and the one thing he does con the one thing connor ben does not know how to do is lose and so um he's got the eye of the tiger you can see it um obviously trained by tony sims just absolute class um, and he trains in a great stable of fighters. He's had some great sparring. He's really ready to go. Sammy Vargas is really confident too, and he's been training with Bones Adams, who I'm a massive, massive fan of. Um, they've been training out in Las Vegas, so he's had some great sparring too, and he's also very confident. So I think we're gonna get a real cracker of a fight uh, at the top of the bill on Saturday night. Conor Ben just 24 years of age as well. It's hard to believe he's only been in the scene five or six years. You've seen a fair bit of that being over in England watching Conor. How much has he grown over the last even 18 months? Well, amazing. And I did his early fights in America too when he yeah. fought uh, in, in New York. Um, he's really grown in front of our eyes and he really, he, he's evolved extremely quickly, um, which is great. And I think it's really difficult because obviously he's the son of a legend, you know, Nigel Ben, of course. Um, we just saw last week Campbell Hatton make his professional debut, or not last week, two weeks ago in Gibraltar. Um, you know, obviously uh, the son of Ricky and, and the nephew of, of Matthew. So it's very difficult, I think, to kind of come out of your, your father's shadow, but I think Connor really wants to do that, uh, and he really wants to make a name for himself. And he's also a new father. He just had his, his uh, baby Eli. So it's, he's very, very motivated for this fight. And, uh, yeah, I think he's just going to – and, and he, showed us, he showed us a lot of great boxing skill in his, in his last fight also against Formella, which was interesting because a lot of times he just comes in there and bangs. So he showed us a different part to his game. So he is really evolving. Mm -hmm.